Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we'll be talking about how to upgrade the RAM in a 2015 iMac. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna upgrade my 2015 iMac. Not only am I gonna update the RAM in this computer, but we have a little special treat because we're gonna see if we can use two different types of RAM. And I read the reviews, people said you could do this. I have the original eight gigs that's already in the computer, came factory with eight gigs of RAM. And I wanna see if I could put some aftermarket RAM with the original factory RAM. This is kind of a double whammy, guys. I'm gonna see if this is gonna work with this machine, with the original RAM. I don't know how much it's changed, but when I was building computers back in the day, you know, you used to go to shows and you used to buy a component and you had to make sure they were compatible and you would buy the same type of RAM to to make sure they were compatible. I don't know if that's changed. If it has, leave a comment down below. Maybe I'm just not keeping up to date with that. We're gonna see, I, like I said, I read reviews that said this will work with the factory RAM. This is OWC RAM. It's about eight gigs, so I'm gonna upgrade this to 16 gigs. This, I will leave a link down below. This fluctuates, it was at $80, and it went down to, I believe, $50. So it does fluctuate in price, keep an eye out for that. Now, I can upgrade this to 32 gigs of RAM, but it's a little pricey. I see add another $200 to my machine. I think I only need 16 gigs. I mean, I just added videos. I mean, I may need more, but we'll worry about that. It'll drop in price and I'll upgrade it then. So without further ado, let's show you how to add this RAM into this computer. All right, so this is gonna be a little different than some of my repair videos. If you see right back there, that's the door to get into the RAM. There's a little button right here just above it and that should pop it out. Now I tried doing it with my finger, it's not working. So I'm gonna use this, just a little uh, plastic nub. I'm gonna see if I can push it in and get that working. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just, just gonna gently but firmly push this in. Let's see if this will work. Ah, pop it open. All right, that comes right out like that. It's just a little panel. If you look at the instructions, it tells you to push it away and it should open them up. So let's go ahead and do that. And I apologize, it's a really weird angle. We push in that, and we're gonna push this one in too. And that should release the RAM caddy. And there you go, there's your RAM. I pulled out one of the factory ones just so you could see. That's what the factory one looks like. And this is the aftermarket one. You can see the grooves are the same. The chip layout's a little bit different, but all in all it should work. All right, so we're just gonna slide them in. And the trick is you don't wanna force it. You wanna try and find the groove and push each edge in gently. And just find the groove you know, push one side, then push the other side, and then it should kind of click in there a little bit. They pushed in, they look like they're in place. And now what we're gonna do is push these prongs back up, and it should slide the RAM back into place. You should hear a little click. And that's it, that's back in there. Uh, we'll see if this is really gonna work with two different types of RAM. I'm gonna try and put this back back on. It's kind of like spring-loaded. Okay, so now it's time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna start this, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I don't know, that moment of silence was a little rough for me. I don't know about you guys. So far, so good. It looks like everything is going according to plan. Now, let's go ahead and check and see if it registers it. So we're gonna click on the Apple, and we're gonna go to about this Mac, and we're gonna go to memory. And there you go, 16 gigs installed, 444. All right. It says all memory slots are currently in use, so it's working. All right, guys, just a really simple upgrade. I'm glad it worked. I saw reviews on Online, and some people said it didn't work and some people said it did work so I was really curious to see if this was really gonna work out it's looking pretty good 16 gigs I will let you know in the future if anything goes haywire or it doesn't work correctly but for now everything looks smooth I'm pretty happy I got 16 gigs of RAM that's really all I need for what I do I mean I make pretty simple videos so I just wanted a little oomph and that way it wouldn't slow down so I'm curious to see how the performance is gonna be with another 8 gigs of RAM because we doubled it. I'd really love to see the performance of 32 gigs, but that's a little out of my price range. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. 
They call it RAM because it's random access memory. Not like the Dodge Ram, which I think is named after the actual Ram. You know, the animal. This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.